those new uh, condos there. Yeah. All the new condos over here used to be um, uh, Piedmont Court over there. They they expensive places to live now. All these places here was taken over. My grandmother, if you look up, Louise Sampson was a big activist when it came to house because she lived in Boulevard Homes which is not there no more. They tore Boulevard Homes down. It's at the corner of West Boulevard and Billy Graham. Now it's, uh, what's it called now? I forgot what it's called now. They tore it down, but she was a big, big activist. Like this over here where you see those condos, that was Double Oaks. So that used to be housing? That used to be housing over here. Like these condos here, that's where they used to be housing. Yeah. All yeah. over yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, this whole area was was us. Yeah. It, was, it was low income, uh -huh. but it was us. And because, you know, when we got the Panthers, we were, we got the Hornets, well, we actually started with the Hornets. When we got the Hornets, the Coliseum we see now, that you with that Coliseum there, that used to be a neighborhood. When that, that started getting big, then people start realizing, oh, wait a minute. We got to pass by all these little low income places to get, yeah, to get to the Coliseum for people to see, you know, what's going on. Oh my God, they got to come from the airport up West Boulevard, which is nothing but low income. So they tore down all the low income. And it sad me when I was coming, when we was on our way here, all those houses we saw, y'all, I knew people that lived in those houses, they tore the houses down. They have torn so much. My mother used to live in a house over here, right behind Piedmont Court. It was called Belmont. Okay. Uh, they call it Noda. Noda was low income. Noda, let me back it up. Noda used to be, I mean, being black, you couldn't live out there. You could not. Even the houses like this house, you know, you couldn't live. You couldn't live. Can you get that, sweetie? Okay. What happened was, according to my mom and my grandmother, uh, the everybody else but us moved away. That's how you get the Valentine and all that people move to Huntersville. People move to Gastonia. So everybody moved out. So now the black people came in. So you had a lot of black people with big houses. Because everybody, you know, we, we moved in. But when we got those teams, y'all, and I remember when the teams came, we got those teams, and especially when we got the Panthers, they knocked down Coffee Cup. Coffee Cup was run, it was black owned. I mean, when I say popular, people used to line up just to eat there. It was a little hole in the wall, but they had some good food. All of that got pushed out. And instead of making the housing better for the people that were living there, what they did is tore them down, made it where they couldn't move there, now nobody can. If you, I don't know if y'all, well, y'all wouldn't know. We have no low income houses in Charlotte. None. None. Boulevard Homes is gone. Uh, Double Oaks is gone. Fairview Homes is gone. Fairview Homes, you can't even afford Fairview Homes now. Fairview Homes is gone. We have no projects. That's part of the reason why I didn't move to Charlotte. I didn't right. want to spend the same amount of money I was paying in New Jersey. Right. For apartment in Charlotte. Right. I mean, I live in Salisbury. We did deal with a whole lot more racism. Oh, yeah. Salisbury, yeah. Over there. Down little one-bucket town. Salisbury, Palmersville, Gastonia, uh, Rock Hill. Yeah. I can't stay at Moxville. She's staying Moxville. Yeah, Moxville, Mid Hill. That's where I still live. They just had a thing in Moxville at the beginning of the school with um the black kids and the white kids, the white side of town. Oh, yeah. 